pushing past the pain to become one of the best in the world. Fox 12's Nick Krepke has our Sunday spotlight with an Oregon man who served his country as a Marine and now races on three wheels for Team USA as a paracyclist. Cheers. Climbing. Beaverton's Dennis Connors has climbed over many obstacles in life. It's m more than just I won. It's that I've overcome a lot of challenges and the way I'm doing it is working. I was essentially a pro climber. All my friends were pro pro rock climbers, they, and they stuck with it, and I was like, I'm going to go in the Marines. The California-grown Connors entered the service 20 years ago as a linguist. Uh, Iraq campaign, and then these are two I got for uh, meritorious service. And I worked counter-narcotics, so I went to South America. Um, and then the Iraq war happened, and in 2007 I got sent there. Dennis was sent on three tours of duty in the Middle East. What he saw, felt, and lived is forever. It's like pride. It's like, I did that, you know? Mm -hmm. It makes me kind of cheer. Honestly, I didn't know I was injured until 2018. I was having a bunch of balance problems and um, finally was able to go to a doctor outside of the VA. And they were, did some brain scans and they're like, you have traumatic brain injuries, plural. Soldiers are warriors and they're so often wounded in so many ways. I had to go back through and think of all the times that I got blown up and, or whatever, concussion, hand-to-hand -hand training, whatever it was, where you just got your bell rung. How many times did you figure you got your bell rung? Dozens. The 37-year-old married father of two is now a stay-at-home dad after moving to Oregon in 2015. Now that we all kind of understand what traumatic brain injury is, because we didn't at the time, you just toughed it out. Because if, if you were like, I'm injured, then your career was over. The path, Dennis's new career, has been a painful journey. I suffered from PTSD for a long time and went through a lot of therapy for that. And then in 2020, May of 2020, I had a stroke. Dennis now gets around on crutches due to paralyzation on his left side and the hits keep on coming. In the last month, I've been going through a diagnosis of young yeah, onset really Parkinson's disease. Like riding in a straight line, I couldn't do it. Like I couldn't balance on a bike. Dennis's escape stop. is in the garage to train on his you know, bike for a third season of racing a trike for the United States paracycling team. But once I got on the trike, it was like, it was life changing. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is it. Third at Worlds from Portugal in 2021 and the highest male score for the red, white, and blue in 2022. Typically in a race, there'll be between 20 and 30 people, yeah. all on trikes, all with balance issues. Trikes are kind of tippy. <laughs> it gets pretty fun out there. <laughs> An uplift in life for a good man who sure deserves it. Even though I have all these disabilities, it's given me a, uh, a strong sense of community and it's given me a sense of like, I can overcome whatever I put my mind to, no matter what. Dennis is currently in Italy for a pair of World Cup races in the paracycling Tour of Flanders. That's in Belgium, not the street in Portland. And Connor just can't get enough action. He'll then be in Salt Lake City for the pair of rock climbing World Cup. He's already a national champ there. In studio, Nick Krepke, Fox of Oregon.